morning and welcome. Once again, a very few of us have come in and decided to read morning prayer here as opposed to at home. Um, socially distanced, mask wearing, trying to be safe. If you want to be part of this uh, some week, next week, week after, certainly email or call the church and we'll try to schedule you in. We should be able to schedule you in. Don't worry about that. Support for St. John's can be sent to the church at 216 East Chandler Boulevard, Burlington, Wisconsin, 53105, or can be contributed online at the church website. Grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. From page 79 in the Book of Common Prayer, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Let us say together the Venite found on page 82 in the Book of Common Prayer. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, Come let us adore him. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 118. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now proclaim his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord now proclaim his mercy endures forever. I call to the Lord in my distress. The Lord answered me by setting me free. The Lord is at my side, therefore I will not fear. What can anyone else do to me? The Lord is at my side to help me. I will triumph over those who hate me. It is better to rely on the Lord than to put any trust in flesh. It is better to rely on the Lord than put any trust in rulers. <clears throat> All the ungodly encompass me. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. They hem me in.
They hem me in on every side. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. They swarm about me like bees. They blaze like a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. I was pressed so hard that I almost fell. But the Lord came to my help. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. There is a sound of exultation and victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has punished me sorely, but he did not hand me over to death. <clears throat> Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them. I will offer thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. He who is righteous may enter. I will, feel, I will give thanks to you, for you answered me and have become my salvation. The same storm, stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. On this day the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. <clears throat> Hosanna, Lord, Hosanna. Lord, send us now success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. God is the Lord. He has shined upon us, form a possession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will thank you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as it was forever. Amen. The Old Testament is from Hosea. Yet I have been the Lord your God ever since the land of Egypt. You know no God but me, and besides me there is no Savior. It was I who fed you in the wilderness, in the land of the drought. When I fed them, they were satisfied. They were satisfied, and their heart was proud. Therefore, they forgot me. So I will become like a lion to them, like a leopard. I will lurk beside the way. I will fall upon them like a bear robbed of her cubs and will tear open the covering of their heart. There I will devour them like a lion, as a wild animal would mangle them. I will destroy you, O Israel. Who can help you? Where now is your king, that he may save you? Where in all your cities are your rulers, of whom you said, Give me a king and rulers? I gave you a king in my anger, and I took him away in my wrath. Ephraim's iniquity is bound up. His sin is kept in store. The pangs of childbirth come for him. But he is an unwise son, for at the proper time he does not present himself at the mouth of the womb. Shall I ransom them from the power of Sheol? Shall I redeem them from death? O oh, death, where are your plagues? O oh, Sheol, where is your destruction? Compassion is hidden from my eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let us say together Canticle 16, the Song of Zechariah, found on page 92 in the Book of Common Prayer. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. 
He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The reading from the New Testament is 1 Corinthians. Yet among the mature, we do speak wisdom, though it is not a wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age who are doomed to perish. But we speak God's wisdom, secret and hidden, which God decreed before the ages for our glory. None of the rulers of this age understood this, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But, as it is written, what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the human heart conceived, what God has prepared for those who love him. These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. For what human being knows what is truly human, except for the human spirit that is within? So also no one comprehends what is truly God's, except the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit that is from God, so that we may understand the gifts bestowed on us by God. And we speak of these things in words not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the Spirit, interpreting spiritual things to those who are spiritual. Those who are unspiritual do not receive the gifts of God's Spirit, for they are foolish to them, and they are unable to understand them because they are discerned spiritually. Those who are spiritual discern all things, and they are themselves subject to no one else's scrutiny. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Let us say together Canticle 21, You Are God, page 95 in the Book of Common Prayer. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the Eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you came back to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. 
you overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. A reading from Matthew. At that time, Herod the ruler heard reports about Jesus, and he said to his servants, This is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead, and for his reason these powers are at work in him. For Herod had arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodotus, his brother Philip's wife, because John had been telling him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Though Herod wanted to put him to death, he feared the crowd because they regarded him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday came, the daughter of Herodotus danced before the company, and she pleased Herod so much that he promised on oath to grant her whatever she might ask. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me the head of John the Baptist here on a platter. The king was grieved, yet out of regard for his oaths and for the guests, he commanded it to be given. He sent and had John beheaded in the prison, the head was brought on a platter and given to the girl, who brought it to her mother. His disciples came and took the body and buried it, and they went and told Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Some powerful readings today. And they certainly point out that we have been given the gift of God's love and compassion. We have been given the gift of spiritual enlightenment. The 118th Psalm, Isaiah, and Matthew's telling the story of John the Baptist all differently describe cruel, cold, calamitous, a horrible world to live in if we do not live with and honor God's gifts. Certainly, Herod, Herodotus, and Salome are not trying to emulate God's grace. For us, the question may well be just how close we can get to actually living out the last four verses of Psalm 118. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. God is the Lord. He has shined upon us. Form a procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will thank you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. For us, the question may well be just how close we can get to actually living out those phrases. Amen.
Let us say together the Apostles' Creed as found on page 96 in the Book of Common Prayer. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you. And And also with you. Let us pray. The Our Father is found on page 97 in the Book of Common Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We'll read Suffrage B, found on page 98 in the Book of Common Prayer. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern them and uphold them, now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. We shall never hope in vain. Collect of the day is proper 22. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we to pray and to give more than we either desire or deserve. Pour upon us the abundance of your mercy for giving us those things of which our conscience is afraid and giving us those good things for which we are not worthy to ask except through the merits and meditation of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Collect for mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sacrificed, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. Prayers for Sunday, October 4th. We pray for our church. For Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Becky and Sandy, our wardens, Jessica, Claire, Phil, Connie, and Deanna, our vestry and clerk. In our community, we pray for all Burlington area churches, for Love, Inc., the Transitional Living Center, the Women's Resource Center, and our Diocesan Hospitality Center in Racine. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Anglican Church in Tanzania. In the parish cycle of prayer, we pray for Jerry and Lana Ramsey and for Bernie Rusa. For those celebrating birthdays, Jerry Ramsey. Happy birthday, Jerry. For those celebrating an anniversary, Jim and Sandy McCann. Congratulations. For those who are in need, for John, for Jane, for Don, for Marion, Eva, Marilyn, Cindy, Betty, Debbie, Chris, 
Mary, Marilyn, Pidge, Ken, Lana, Estelle, Dolores, David, Jimmy, Tommy, Eunice, and Jill. For the parishes in the Diocese of Milwaukee, this week we pray for St. Francis, Menominee Falls. Let us pray for those areas suffering from natural disaster, domestic and foreign violence, the pandemic, and its effects. Let us pray for nations and peoples as they struggle to be better and to do better. We pray together the general thanksgiving found on page 101 in the Book of Common Prayer. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by your Lord Jesus Christ. And by the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. We'll say together the prayer of St. Christosom from page 102. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen.